27 forecast. Earlier we were talking about how September really was just kind of flip flopped. We started off on a cooler note, it talked about highs into the 60s, lows into the 40s. Now we're doing the complete opposite, talking about highs into the 80s and lows in the 60s. Now notice at the bottom of your screen there, 72. That's typically where we are this time of year as far as our high temperatures. But we're 9, 10, even 12 degrees off that high temperature of 72 degrees here into the next seven days. So this heat wave that we're seeing right now will continue or at least for the next seven days. And I looked at the extended models. We're actually expecting to have this heat stick around for the next seven to 10 days by the time we head into October. But as far as temperatures tonight, we're dealing with temperatures anywhere from around 68 degrees in Cortland to around 63 down in Lisbon. Now tonight we are going to dip down, but only to around 60 degrees. We can thank those high dew points for that, for why we're not dropping any further than the low 60s. As far as clouds and radar, we told you earlier that we did see a few flashes of green across your screen. It's more interference interference with the radar than anything else. We're not expecting any rain for tonight, but if you look out to the west, we are seeing a few showers, even some rumbles of thunder start to move into the northwestern part of Ohio. Now this will continue to push off into our area, but a little bit different than what we are expecting and what we've seen the last several weeks. Now notice you can really see that cold front and all that rain chances with that front start to push into the Midwest. We'll put that blue line, which indicates that fleeting edge of that cold air mass right behind it. That's that cold front that's going to push off into the east. But not only is it going to do that, it's going to push off to the north as well. And also this high pressure that we have over ourselves right now, that's a lot of dry air we're dealing with. So as these showers continue to push off into the valley, it has to battle that dry air out, which is why we're not going to see rain chances in the 30s or 40s, even 60s for that matter. We're only giving the rain chance for tomorrow just around 20%. Notice what happens with future tracker. We are tracking the chances coming in from that cold front and those rain chances will continue to push off into the Buckeye State come tomorrow morning. But the difference is as that interacts with that warm and dry air, we're seeing a few isolated showers start to fire into the eastern part of Ohio, even the western part of Pennsylvania. But notice the bulk of the rain, even the storms still off into the western part of Ohio and all of that will eventually push off into the north as we see another low pressure system right behind that push off to the north as well. So a complex situation, but all you need to know over the next 24 hours, we're going to see lows tonight right around 62 degrees, partly cloudy skies. That chance for a patchy fog tomorrow morning, mainly into the low lying areas and into the valleys. But tomorrow, only that 20% chance of rain that we were talking about high 82 degrees. So the heat is going to continue over the next 24 hours, even the next 48 hours. You see this pattern before low starting off Tuesday morning into the 60s. And if you can guess it, highs back into the 80s by the afternoon. Notice how there's a few chances of some isolated showers again on Tuesday. But beyond that, except for a 20% chance of an isolated shower Monday, Tuesday, we're looking at dry conditions for the next couple of days leading into the weekend. So for Friday night football, we are looking dry but warm. You're not going to need an umbrella. You're not going to need the jacket. You're actually just going to need some shorts, maybe a t-shirt. It's going to be another warm one. Highs back into the low 80s and even heading into next weekend. Mostly sunny skies. Highs will warm back up into the mid 80s. Definitely not fall like temperatures as we see the first day of fall right there on Friday.